to survive three days without any TV. Really? Can I be on the stakeout with you? Shh. Simka! Ha! Aha! I got you! What? Who? You lost the bet, Tom Thomas. Just tell me you didn't. I didn't. Why didn't you? It's because I... Mm, I'm not Tom Thomas. What? I'm Tom's brother. That's totally not true. We know Tom Thomas doesn't have a brother. I meant his first cousin. Then how come you two look so much alike? It's because our mothers are twins. So what should we call you? Who, me? Uh, John Johnson. And who are you, by the way? As if you don't know who we are. This room is beautiful. Sure is bigger than mine. I don't believe you. You're telling a lie. And what is your proof? Maybe he's not lying. There's a way to check it. How? Yeah, how? With a lie detector. You'll see. A lie detector is a device that is used to help figure out if someone is telling the truth or if they are lying. You see, when someone is lying, they always get a little bit nervous. Even though we might not see it, we know that a liar's heart beats a little faster, his breathing changes, and he sweats. A lie detector can pick up on all of these little things. And that's how a lie detector can be used to help find the truth. But you don't have a lie detector. But we know how a lie detector works, don't we? Or are you scared? Tom Thomas. What's that for? To listen to your pulse. How come? So I'll be able to check how fast your heart is beating. And Nolik? He's gonna keep an eye on how often you blink. And what are you doing with the egg? The egg is an old African method. If you're not telling the truth, your hand will automatically squeeze the egg. And so, the egg will crack! Well, my egg won't crack. We'll see about that. Humans have tried to come up with all sorts of ways to find out the truth. For instance, in ancient China, they would put some dry rice in a person's mouth when they told him the crime they believed he committed. Then, they checked the rice. If the rice stayed dry, they believed he had committed the crime. In ancient India, a person had to bang on a gong while answering a judge's questions. If he started banging the gong louder, then it was believed that he was trying to hide the truth. And in Europe, if one knight accused another of lying, then they would just take part in a duel. Whoever won that one was said to be on the side of truth. No, it's not easy to hide the truth. But sometimes it can be even harder to find it. Answer yes or no. You got that? Do you have two ears? Don't you have eyes? Just yes or no. Yes. Answer. Are you a girl? Hey, come on. Yes or no? No. Where do you find such dumb questions? We just have to check what happens to your heart when you tell the truth to us. All right, now answer this. Do you know the Fixies? Yes or no? Yes. Uh, no. I forgot. His pulse is speeding up. Are you Tom Thomas? No. Ah, uh, his pulse is racing. And his eyes have started blinking. And the Fixies, tell us where you learned about him. From Tom Thomas. He could 
couldn't have told you about us. It's a secret. You could. Not true. It's true. It's not true. Yes, it is. Hey, look! The egg cracked! Just give up, John Johnson. All right. I'm Tom Thomas, guys. Tish! Is it really possible to know if you lied just by measuring your pulse? With pulse, you really can. But you probably couldn't with the egg. You tricked me then. That wasn't nice. You weren't tricked. John Johnson was. Huh. You know what? I think you've got to get checked out on this lie detector. Ha! I don't think so. You need to get ready to give me my wish. Because you're the one that lost the bet. So much they need to learn to save us from disasters. There isn't one appliance that they don't know about. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix it, please don't let their secret out. Shh. Tubes. Today's lesson will be on pipes and tubing. Right here inside of this laboratory, you can see them all over. Look! Over there! And there! Some more over there, and there's another one! So, who can tell me some different uses for tubes? Digit! Uh, They're used in plumbing, to carry the water. No, like, in school we don't give an answer without being called on. Digit! You can... And for carrying waste! I am talking to Digit now! Gas goes through pipes, too. Stop interrupting us. And don't forget about smoke in a smokestack. No, like, that's just rude behavior. Out right now. All right. And a shower hose. That's also a tube, right? I told you to get out. Yikes. And a vacuum cleaner's got one, too. Hmm. And those spy glasses that pirates use when they're sailing. Hey, what do you say we all go and sneak out of here? Great idea. Let him call out to himself. Shh. And a trumpet's a tube that you blow through. <laughs> Nolik is my younger brother. There's a lot he still doesn't know, but that doesn't stop him from getting involved in things he probably shouldn't. Unfortunately, that can get him into trouble. So, every once in a while, me or my parents have to rescue him. No, I wouldn't call Nolik a pest. He's just a bit curious. That's why he broke the number one fixie rule, hide from humans. Nolik's the one who first became friends with Tom Thomas. Well, I was there too, but Nolik started it. Actually, <laughs> first it was Grampus. Many years ago, he befriended Professor Eugenius. And after that, the professor let us have our school in his laboratory. So it turns out that Nolik is just like his grandfather. Digit, go on then. Tubes are, uh... Wow! Just look at all the tubes in here. There's rubber ones and glass ones that are curvy. Oh, yeah! Pens! Parts of them are tubes, too. Ugh. Um... <laughs> he stopped talking. He ran out of ideas. <sighs> and those tube slides at the water park. <laughs> the barrel of a rifle and the shell of a bullet. Those are tubes. Oh, there's a tube with a serious crack. And it's also dripping and hissing. It's dripping? Where? How can I show you when you kick me out of class? <laughs> What's going on? Take a look. That tube up there is leaking. <gasps> That's acid dripping out. Is that dangerous? It's awful. Any second now, it'll explode. <gasps> Professor Eugenius go. He went to eat his sandwich. So what do we do? It's a disaster. Don't panic. Fire, Verda. Go to that hose and shut off that valve. Simka, go get a pack of mat. We'll fix this pipe ourselves. 
It's very important to be sure that a pipe won't leak. But making pipes that won't leak isn't so easy. Pipes can be made by rolling up a sheet of metal and sealing it up. Unfortunately, the seam can break. And that's why people have figured out how to make pipes without seams. They do it by stretching out hot metal on special machines. And PVC pipes are squeezed out of hot plastic like pasta. When the plastic is cooled down, it hardens into a pipe. We fixed it just in time. Know it. Way to go there. Hey, Simka, where is he? Don't know. Heh, <laughs> he finally left. Here I am. Nolik, I want to thank you for being alert. And I'd like you to join our class. Tiddies! Only don't forget, in my class, students cannot answer unless they're called on. Now then, pipes and tubing. Digit, please continue. Well? But Nolik said all of them already. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, not all. A straw for drinking a shake is a tube, and some noodles are tubes made out of dough. And what's it called? Uh, that thing. A hole in a mountain. Wait a second, I'll get it. A volcano! That's not it. They go this way. I mean the kind that go like that. <laughs> They're tunnels! You got it! Well done there. Yeah. Even when they're magnified, it's hard to see their features. They're tiny infinitesimal, so small that makes you doubt. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you meet a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The armor. Nolik, and I'll check the living room. Well, I just don't get it. Where could he be hiding? The office. We forgot to check in there. himself inside of that shark. Yeah? Then in that huge vase. Uh-huh. He's all scrunched up in there and laughing at us. <laughs> oh! Simka! There! Did you hear that? He is in there! There's no one. But I know that I heard a hee-hee. You imagined it. Let's go take a look in the bathroom. <laughs> I imagined it. <sighs> it's so stuffy inside this armor. <laughs> the arms got stuck. Where else could he be? <gasps> Who is that? Ah! Sick of the night, he came to life. Well, how much longer are you gonna look for me? Arbor is very hard clothing worn by warriors to protect them against swords and arrows. People started making armor in ancient times, but the full body armor that knights wore didn't start until the Middle Ages. The armor worn by knights on horses was heavy. It could weigh a hundred pounds, and if a knight got knocked off of his horse, he'd need help to get back up again. By the way, the knight's horses, they wore their own heavy set of armor for protection. Hey, did you turn into statues? Tom Thomas? Is that you in there? Who else? Lift up this visor, I can barely breathe. <laughs> and how come we should do it? Cause I can't, don't you see? My arms got stuck. We see? <laughs> you look funny. Funny to you, but now I'm stuck and I can't get out of here. Come on, help me out, please. <laughs> Great, Chisaka. 
is just what we need right now. Chusaka, what's wrong with you? It's me. Hey, stop it. Help, I can't get up. Come on, let's undo the latches, Nolik, quickly. Thanks for helping me. It was nothing. I couldn't have done it without you. Let's put the night back together. Uh-huh. Before Dad gets back. Protective clothing isn't just for people who are fighting in battles. Travelers put on special nets to protect themselves against mosquitoes and gnats. And beekeepers wear protective clothes, too. If they had nothing to protect them from bee stings, their job would be quite painful. <laughs> Without their protective clothing, it would be impossible for firefighters to go into burning buildings and save people. And how could astronauts go into outer space without special clothing? It's freezing up there and there's no air to breathe at all. And that's why they wear a special costume called a spacesuit when they travel. The spacesuit not only protects astronauts from the cold, but supplies them with air so they can breathe. By the way, the Fixies also wear protective clothing so they can stay safe while they work. Well, there. Did we get it right? It looks like we got it right. Only, where's the helmet? No, look when to get it. Tom Thomas! Helmet delivery! <laughs> Thanks there, Chusaka. Whoa there, Warhorse. Calm yourself down. There we go. It's all back in place again. Too bad that your knight <laughs> looks like a ballerina twirling around. You see, his arm. Ugh, I can't move it. It's stuck. Here's what we'll do. Give him something to hold. Well, how's that look? Perfect. Now we can paddle into battle. <laughs> I'm off. Don't be late. Chusaka, that's enough. No, I need to go to school. He's got his math class today and he's leaving his math book. I'm trying to serve like a good dog, but no one understands me. Dogs have been serving people since ancient times, along with cows, horses, chickens, and other domestic animals. But of all of these animals, the dog was the very first. In the beginning, domesticated dogs looked like wolves. Over time, they started changing and were developed into dogs of many different breeds, from big shepherds to tiny chihuahuas. So a dog is not only a human's best friend, but his very first friend as well. What is that smell? Oh, come on, look! 
the outlet is sparking. Oh, oh no. Something must have broken in there. Are we going to fix it? Kids should never touch outlets, and you know it, too. It's forbidden. Then how do we fix it? Go find Papus, and I'll stay here and wait for you. Uh, but where's Papus? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know where he is. <laughs> I don't know what she's barking about, but I think Chusaka wants to help us. Then come on, Chusaka. Help us. He's in there! Papus! Papus! Nolan, is that you? Uh -huh. There's an outlet sparking over there, and it smells like it's burning. Are you sure? Yeah, Chusaka found it. Really? Great job! <laughs> there are many kinds of service dogs. Dogs that help people by carrying out a wide variety of different jobs, like protecting a house or a flock of sheep if the dogs are shepherds. Some working dogs help guards protect their borders, while others work for the police. There are sled dogs that transport people and loads in the north, where there's only snow and no roads. Some service dogs help blind people by helping them get to the places they need to go. And there are dogs that save people trapped on mountains. And that's not all. Dogs went up into space before humans. But don't think that dogs are just given these jobs. Oh, no. Like humans, dogs study for a long time before they're allowed to take on serious work. <laughs> Ah, that's all. There won't be a fire. Not today. Hooray! Well done, Chusaka. You're a real service dog, no doubt about it. Oh, yeah, I'm working. I'm a real service dog. Oh, Chusaka, go away. I've had enough of you already today. Don't say that, because this working dog just saved your house from burning down. What do you mean? She smelled smoke coming from the outlet. It could be that Chusaka means well and wants to do the right thing, but nobody understands her. That's a bit hard to believe. Then what's this book? Oh, my math book. That's where I left it. Remember how Chusaka wanted to make you take it to school this morning? You're right. Add a girl, Chusaka. Well done. <coughs> what a rain. My feet got wet to the bone. But this morning, Chusaka tried to get you to wear a different pair of shoes. Hmm, that's something. I should listen more closely to this smart little dog of ours. Whoa! Finally, they understand me. But if you meet a pixie, please don't let their secret out. 